the Rat Genome Database, or RGD, at rgd.mcw.edu has numerous tools and resources for investigators using rats and other mammals as animal models in their research. One such resource is the Disease Portal, which can be found under the tab marked Diseases on the homepage and as a panel in the Analysis and Visualization section. The 15 portals are designed as entry points for researchers studying human disease to access data and tools in their area of interest. For this tutorial, we will be working in the cardiovascular disease portal using hypertension as our example. For each portal, the default view is of the disease section of the portal. However, any one of the other eight ontologies can be selected. For the non-disease ontologies, the terms are assigned to the portal because of their association with a data object, such as a gene, QTL, or strain, that is also annotated to the portal's disease category. In other words, any phenotype, for instance, goes through an object to be associated with a portal. To give a specific example, the human phenotype term thrombocytosis is in the cardiovascular disease portal because 25 human genes, including HLA, DQA1, are annotated to both that term and one or more cardiovascular disease, such as hypertension, rheumatic heart disease, and dilated cardiomyopathy 1H. For clinical researchers studying disease in humans and basic researchers interested in non-rat models of human disease, RGD's disease portals provide data for nine species in addition to rat, including mouse, human, chinchilla, bonobo, dog, 13-line ground squirrel, pig, green monkey or vervet, and naked mole rat. Not all species have annotations for all nine ontologies. The best studied and best annotated are human, rat, and mouse. Dog and pig have fewer manually assigned experimental annotations, although they are highly studied. RGD's other species are the models for studying specific diseases, but have, for the most part, not been manually curated. For species where manual ontology annotations are not available, RGD assigns disease, pathway, and gene ontology annotations on the basis of the sequence similarity, or more specifically, the orthology between genes. For instance, a disease annotation assigned to a rat gene on the basis of experimental evidence will be also assigned to the corresponding orthologous gene in chinchilla because of the similarity between the two genes. Such annotations based on orthology provide pointers toward predicted gene disease associations in less common model organisms. Below the picture and name of the species in the portal, the number of genes, QTLs, and strains annotated to the selected term and any child terms in the chosen ontology are displayed. In this case, there are 3,952 genes, 704 QTLs, and 174 strains that have been associated with cardiovascular disease in rat. Moving to the ontology browser, researchers can view and navigate between terms associated with their selected ontology. Searches can be made as specific or as general as desired. The selected term, shown with its definition, is in the center box with its more general parent terms in the far left box labeled parent terms, and the more specific terms below it in the vocabulary in the box to the right labeled child terms. Hypertension is located under the parent terms vascular disease and artery disease. Moving up or down, you can see that the number of genes, QTLs, and strains changes in relation to the selected ontology changes to match the parameters of the search. In this case, there are 922 genes, 542 QTLs, and 110 strains annotated to the term hypertension or one of its more specific child terms such as essential hypertension. Below the ontology browser are the lists of genes, QTLs, and strains associated with the term selected in the ontology browser. Clicking on any of these brings up a detailed and in-depth page dedicated to that specific topic. For genes, such as ABCC8, the page will display items such as a brief summary of what is known about the gene, terms in any or all of the five ontologies annotated to the gene, the genomics, details on expression and sequence, and links to curated and related references in PubMed. For more information on how to navigate the gene report page, there is a specific video tutorial that can be found here. Back in the disease portal, the genome view will appear, indicating where on the species chromosomes the retrieved genes in brown, QTLs in blue, and strains in green are mapped. Clicking on a location in a chromosome brings up a close-up view of that specific region in its genomic context. 
The detail window itself can be dragged across the entire length of the chromosome and can be fixed into position by double clicking the slider in the overview panel. The zoom can be toggled using the zoom in and zoom out buttons to obtain the desired view. Clicking on any object in the horizontal display will direct the user to the object's report page. GeneSet Enrichment in the MOET tool is also available to researchers for gene annotations to seven different ontology tabs. The gene list from above is automatically submitted to the embedded tool for analysis. Given this gene list, MOET returns significantly overrepresented ontology terms using a hypergeometric test and provides nominal and Bonferroni corrected p values and odds ratios for the overrepresented terms. For each term, the number of genes in the list being analyzed is provided with a link to that subset of the gene list. The reference genes column provides the number of genes in the reference gene list that are annotated to that term for comparison. A graph also appears with disease terms on the x-axis. The y-axis shows the number of genes annotated to the term in blue and the uncorrected p-value in orange. For more information on the MOET tool, please see the video tutorial found at this link. Finally, additional resources can be found at the bottom of the page. Additional analysis tools for researchers at RGD and elsewhere are provided with a brief explanation of each. Clicking on the underlined tool will take you to that tool's dedicated page. There is also a curated list of rat strains that have been annotated to cardiovascular disease. For mutant strains, the mutated gene is listed after the strain symbol. Control strains are shown for the respective affected strains, and links to original research articles are provided for researchers interested in more detail about the use of each strain as a disease model. All the strains listed below are curated with a special set of qualifiers indicating a strain is an established model of disease. The model qualifier is used at RGD to indicate that the strain has been used in multiple studies as a model for the indicated disease or as a control for such a model. There are also many helpful links in the related links file, including animations detailing cardiovascular events such as congestive heart failure and heart attacks. Clearly, the disease portals found at rgd.mcw.edu are an effective tool for researchers to find and analyze specific objects for rat, human, and a number of other mammals in their disease area of interest.